Welcome to the Bontex workshop. Today, as you can see, we're not dealing with wood. Recently, I got a 3D printer and it made me think about iterative design process. And I just kind of wanted to share some of my iterative designs and how I got to where I'm at. I kind of do two different styles. One, like in this lid for my blender top, it's the same piece and just refining it till it works exactly how I want it to. The other design process really is making multiples, but for different things. These are uh, slow feed dog bowls uh, for my dogs. Um, this was the first one, it was for Cooper. This is the second one, it was for Moxie. Not only do they have different colors, but you can tell that they have different sizes too. And I can get into that for a moment. And then here's one of my first designs that I'll be making a video for specifically, but it is a little weather hood for my chicken feeder. So let's start with this one. Uh, this is the lid to my blender and this little pour spout cover broke off and there was no way to put it back in there. So I got my calipers out, I measured it, I sketched it, and I came up with this first design. Um, and it's kind of hard to see me. You can see there's little nubs back here. That's what holds it on. And right here, there's a little lip that's supposed to clip it in. Well, I printed this out. I went over, I popped it on and it was too short in several dimensions. These edges here didn't line up. They were too short. This radius was too small. So the clip didn't work. And these nubs, they were probably a little bit too small. So I moved on to the second iteration. Um, I put this one down, measured how short it was, added that to the overall length, changed the radius, put a little bit bigger clip in there, printed this one out. Went and snapped this one on. Guess what? It was too long and the little clips in the back weren't big enough to actually hold the lid on. It would flop out. But with this one, I was also able to take some more measurements and I came up with this one. You can't see it because it's in place, but I increased the sides of the tabs in the back to hold it on, have the right radius, have this nice clip here, and it fits, snaps in and locks in place. And if you're not looking too closely, you wouldn't know that that wasn't the lid for this blender. I'm really pleased with it. It works well. Um, don't get any splash back out of it. Um, one of the other things that you might notice looking, it's pretty hard on film, um, but I also had little edge guides on this one. Uh, they did not work either. So they disappeared. So now I have a blender I can use without having to hold my hand or a towel over it to keep it from spraying everywhere. Now on to my dog bowls. So slow eat dog bowls, um, the whole point is to make it a little bit harder for the dogs to get to the food so they just don't lap it up and eat it real quick. And I thought it'd be neat to put each dog's name in their bowl. We have small dogs and they only get about an eighth of a cup of food in the morning and an eighth of a cup of food at night. Um, and please don't worry, that is directly from our vet. Um, so with the letters, it makes little spaces and they have to get the tongue in and pull the little kibble out. And it works really well. Um, there's a couple spaces that are just too tight. Either food doesn't go in um, or it gets stuck. And um, this one works great. But for, he's one of our smallest dogs. The other dogs, they're a little bit bigger. So we decided to, my wife and I, look at making a bigger bowl for them, make it a little bit easier. Um, this is Moxie, has less letters, more open spaces. She doesn't have the same true speed eating issues, the other dog. So this is, this works out well for her. Um, and she's a loud barker for a little dog. So we gave her a little speaker symbol. Now on to the chicken feeder hat. 
this was an interesting experience. I'll be doing a special video on this, but I learned a lot about 3D printing and strength. This one broke um, when I was taking the supports out. Um, I learned a lot about design on this one. I have my second design. Obviously, I haven't gone through and gotten rid of the supports or set it up yet. I'll be doing that um, on film. But you can see the iterative design that um, just kind of how high this one is off this rim, the thickness, um, the height of the support piece here versus the height here. Um, and I'm going to try this one. It's my second one, but I may be onto a third or fourth iteration on this one. I'm going to have one more iteration of the dog bowls. We got one more dog that's going to get one. I think it'll be a size in between these two. Um, and we'll find that perfect size and then I'll probably reprint them for all the dogs. This one's done. I'm really pleased with it. Uh, this was pretty exciting for me. I am new to 3D design. I've done a lot of 2D design in my life. Um, 3D CAD design. Uh, it was really excited that it worked out. Um, and this is the explanation of my iterative uh, design process. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.